Hey Yu-Gi-Oh! Players, yu gi -Oh! all that good stuff. It's Infected Zenian here coming at you with my scrap deck profile for November 2012. Um, let's get started. 3 Beast, 3 Chimera, that's your engine of the deck. Obviously your Chimera will give you um, easy scrap dragon plays. Beast helps first turn with Storm and all that good stuff to get Chimera to hand to set up for next turn. And yeah, you just need to run 3 of each. I've seen people starting playing 2 Chimeras and I'm just like, yeah, this is a terrible deck. You have to run 3 Chimeras, you just have to. Um, one goblin, um, reasoning between that is that you can set it, they attack into it, they overextend mate possibly, Mo and most likely they do it overextend because they know it's, you know, there's not much you can set in this deck except the gravekeepers and they can get over that with just two hits. So, they attack into it, you flip the goblin, his effect, he doesn't get destroyed, they have to end battle phase, it gets popped, his own effect activates, you add chimera to hand, next turn summon the chimera, special the goblin, synchro for black rose, and blow up their overextension and probably have card advantage after that so yeah the one orthros and i play it because okay let's say you have scrap dragon on field special summon it his effect destroy itself out of chimera to hand and then he can start getting special summon whenever he wants from hand so and i do like playing scrap orthros because you can maybe chimera to special summon the orthros attack attack it's 3400 and then you can sink her into something you know so yeah and then goblin because it's easy to get scrap to dragon out um, let's say you have Beast out, doesn't die, next turn you tribute it, special summon the Beast, and single for 9, and Scrap Twin Dragon is really good. So yeah. Then we play the Triple Spy and the Guard, Guard over Descendant, because Descendant is useless unless you have a, a Gravekeeper on the board, so if you make, top deck it, I mean like if you open up with it, you're pretty much screwed, honestly. Whereas Guard, you can set it, attack into it, and return it, you know. Two Thunder Kings, uh, you only have 5... Four search cards, which are the two dualities and two scrap you see underneath. And I'd rather have, I just r r hold on to them because you have, with the scrap yard, you have um, s five targets. And um, the dualities you don't really need since you're going to usually special summon. So yeah. Then we have Summoner Monk because late game the scrap yards could be dead and so can the storms. So you can just pitch it and get it an easy scrap dragon or XC's play, maybe Queen Dragon the Jin, get back a scrap dragon. We play the one Valor because um, Valor is just good there to stop plays. Only one of because I really don't. I'm not a big fan of playing too many hand traps. But that's just me. And Gorge because we only play eight traps. What are the chances of having them out? On um, to the spell lineup: the three scraps from two yard, pretty standard. Two dualities. Just um, if you don't draw what you need, you can draw into your place. Maybe set up next turn. Two MSTs because back row hate. Side in the third because I like the deck how it is right now. If anything, I would drop the Valor, honestly, and add the third MST. Mind Control, just control their monster, synchro it up, XCs, all that good stuff. And then the Trinity with the Book of Moon. Because if they have Thunder King and you might want to do something like a uh, Synchro Summon, you just Book of Moon the Thunder King and then do your plays. For Traps, you play two Solemn Morning, the Judgment, one Torrential because you do have Fuel Presence half the time, two Compulse and two Bottomless. Compulse over Deep Prison because Compulse is chainable, so yeah. On to the extra deck, we play one Scrap Twin Dragon because it's not very rare it's not um hard to get it out but it very rarely does since you only have one opportunity to get it out pretty much unless you reborn three dragon because it's the heart of the deck one alive justice catastrophe to get over things you can't normally get past like bls maybe scrap archfiend stardust black rose dragon and iron team dragon for the synchros for the xc's we play the shock master the mace stroke fairy king since everything's earth pretty much except the thunder kings and Except the this part on and the gravekeepers, but you don't really need those out when you're doing that, or you don't actually attack with it. The Queen Dragon, the Jin, just to bring back your Scrap Dragon's late game and the Utopia for fusion to play the Chimera tech. So let me know what you guys think about this deck. Rate, comment, subscribe to YouTube. Infect the Zenon out. See ya.